Welcome to VM Wealth Money Moves, your weekly roundup of the market movements that matter. On the stock market, interest in the stock market continues to be robust, particularly since the Wigton Wind Farm IPO some three weeks ago. Wigton has dominated market volume on most days, with investors driving up the price 50% since its listing. The stock has experienced some resistance at the 75 cent price point, with high demand and high supply at this level. On the money market, the Jamaican dollar fixed income market traded up this week to a high of 1.8%, with demand still high relative to supply. The results of the BOJ auction of $12 billion in CDs was oversubscribed by 25%, with a weighted average yield of 2.29%. The government also auctioned Treasury bills on Wednesday with the 90-day yield averaging 1.95% and the 6-month yield averaging 1.84%. The U.S. dollar fixed income rate traded down 10 basis points to a high of 3% Wednesday for 30 days with demand flat. On the bond market, the yield on the benchmark U.S. 10-year Treasury yield fell 0.016% to 2.124%. The demand for the safe haven asset was influenced by Friday's employment report, with U.S. unemployment remaining unchanged at 3.6%. Market players are pretty quiet, reluctant to make any big moves ahead of next week's Fed meetings, even as expectations continue to increase that the Fed will cut interest rates later in the year. Market players will be turning their attention to the Fed for a response to address the series of poor economic data releases. On the FX market, the Jamaican dollar rally continued this week, gaining a further 20 cents on Wednesday to close at Jamaican $130.10 to US $1 in the broker market. Demand is weak as speculative buyers remain on the sideline as they await the unwinding of US dollar surplus positions by corporate sellers. The Jamaican dollar is up 1.46% this month but is still down 1.69% year to date. Contact your VM Wealth Advisor before you make your next money move. Email wealthinfo at myvmgroup.com.